not just any old bird. And by the way, I'm a ventriloquist. Do you know what that means? Yes, it means that it appears that your voice is coming from somewhere else. Clever girl. Well, let's just say I can speak with my beak closed. Where's Wally? Wally's on leave. So who are you? I'm Val, the cultured vulture. A culture vulture? I'm a very cultured vulture, posh, a high flyer. I enjoy dining at only the very best vulture restaurants. <laughs> Wally and I spend time together at Crow. Do they always keep you in that cage? Are you insinuating I'm a jailbird? Are you? I'll have you know this is a respectable establishment for the rehabilitation well, not in the criminal sense of the word. It's a place where animals are protected, are brought back to health, and then returned to the wild. Same with criminals. They're also rehabilitated and sent back to the concrete jungle. Now listen here, little girl. I'm a vulture, not a bird known to be nice and tolerant to cheeky brats. So, lighten up a little and listen. I hear you own a restaurant. Oh, indeed. I was once a part owner of a very famous five-star vulture restaurant in the Infolosi Shishlui Game Reserve. My partners and I had many a great meal there. But uh, circumstances, well, uh, circumstances being what they are, I now take my meals here. And then, of course, there's also that well-stocked restaurant in Mapumalanga, run by my distant cousin. It's more like a fast food place, really. The vultures there have shocking table manners. Not like in our upmarket restaurants here in the KZN Wildlife Reserves. Really, the way they dive into their food is quite disgusting. But bad table manners sometimes get their just rewards. Can you take us to see places like that? Like Wally could? Of course. Then take us to a vulture restaurant. Please. Right. Press your magic rhino badges and say, a reservations for three to see the vultures feed. Reservations for three to see the vultures feed. Wow, isn't that beautiful? This is Giants Castle Vulture Restaurant. They put carcasses or bones from the butchery to feed the birds here. It's got big birds such as Cape Griffin Vulture, Rock Kestrel, Jekyll Buzzard, and Bearded Vulture. The farmers used to put poison on the carcasses of sheep so that they will try to kill the jackals because jackals were killing their sheep. So the jackal will come up this reserve and died around here, then the birds will come and eat those carcass. 
when they pets eat the poisoned carcass, then the pets will die. Mm -hmm. So they decided to put carcasses here so that they will feed the pets for themselves to save them, more especially the beaded vulture, which is rare now. Just look at that bait. See that black one with whitish thing on the neck? It's called a white necked raven. And the beaded vulture, the big one, flying there. This is a lamahai? Yeah, that's a picture of a lamahai. The biggest bird that you have in Drakensberg. It's only available here in Drakensberg. And we've got only 25 pairs left. I've heard it's very rare. Yes, it's one of the rarest birds. Besides eagles and vultures, what other birds of prey can you name? A hawk, an owl, a falcon. That's right. And others like kites and buzzards. They're all birds of prey. And what's a common feature of these birds? That they use their talons when hunting for their food. Yes, a lot of the time we do. But we also use our strong beaks. Back off, Moses. Watch your manners, you're not in the wilds here. Shoo! Don't you know you're at the bottom of the pecking order? Now that you've learned something about us wonderful birds, I want you to go home and read up all about us. Romany Row and off.